Welcome back, my friends, to BJJ Brick Quick. My name is Byron. This is a jiu-jitsu podcast. It's pretty quick, I would say. Coming at you like bullets today. This is bullet number four from Tom Sachs' 10 bullets list. If you missed the other ones ahead of here, really one through three, check those out. This is how Tom Sachs runs a shop, like if you're building things. We're, we're dragging these bullets onto the mats. We're seeing how they relate. Bullet number four, be thorough. That's a pretty good bullet. Before class, during class, after class, be thorough. This has to go with working to the code. That was bullet number one, working to code. If you have these things you have to do to build something, be thorough on all of the steps. If you are doing a technique and you you know, have a four steps to really get that technique done, don't skip the second one. Don't shortcut the third one. It might work sometimes, but you're not being thorough. Does coach ask you to clean the mats after class? Be thorough. Show up clean. <laughs> you take a shower, be thorough. Taking a shower after class, you know, you might have an abrasion. That might uh, get you some staph infection. Nobody wants that. Take a little bit extra time and be thorough. <laughs> after class, Get the space ready for the next class. That's one thing they say in shop. So, you know, when you're done with your project, have the space be ready for the next person. Are you leaving the gym a mess? Do you you ever forget stuff all the time? I think in life, a lot of us, and including myself, of course, if I was more thorough, I'd be better at most things I try to do. Be thorough. I uh, hope I've covered this thoroughly (laughs) in a quick podcast. I don't know how possible that is. But I think this one relates well to jiu-jitsu. Stretching, you know, warm up. Be thorough with that. You're teaching a technique and somebody really, they get most of it, but they don't really understand it the way you'd hoped. Be thorough in your instruction. Go by and, and, and show them that detail. You're explaining techniques to the whole class. Be thorough and answer questions. You tap a teammate out twice with the same uh, gi choke. They ask you, what what was that about? Be thorough in helping out a teammate. I think your jiu-jitsu, your team's jiu-jitsu, will grow better, faster, if we're thorough. Let me know what you think. This is bullet number four. Next time, we're doing bullet number five. We're going thoroughly and in numeric order. <laughs> Anyways, stay sweaty, my friends, and have a great day. I thoroughly mix those uh, things up at the end. <laughs>